Hey everyone, I'm Kai Ren. I'm Cypher. And we are from Codename Phoenix out of Chicago, Illinois. And you are watching Local Band Smokeout. Wrong buttons. That's fine. <laughs> Dude, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm fantastic. Thank you for joining, sir. I really appreciate it. Do me a quick favor for, for those that may not know who you are. Would you do me uh would you introduce yourself? Please uh let me know where the bouts in the world you are. Plug and promote anything and everything. Oh, all the stuff. Okay. So hi, I'm Jake. I'm the vocalist for Morning in May. Uh, we are on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, Pandora, Amazon, whatever you have. Just Google us. We'll be there, we'll pop up. Uh, I'm the founder and CEO of Hello app. It's an application for DIY music people uh, to like network and find each other and all that stuff. It's all free. It's like Tinder for musicians, whatever. And that's it. I have a dog. What kind of dog? Uh, he's a pit bull. Oh, we're from Cleveland. Duh. Cleveland, Ohio. Hi. Represent. Hell yeah. Okay, I didn't even know you had this app. Can you expand on that first? Because that sounds like something I should be telling everybody about. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So uh, so it's just a team of two. Um, I designed it, created this app. I was like, you know what? So like we're, we're a DIY, or DIY band. Um, we've been signed a couple times and all that stuff. But I was like, you know what? <sighs> Being in music so hard. So I was like, well, what can I do or what can I make? that it would just be easier for everybody to exist and not want to like that whole existential dread thing. So like, say you're a photographer. Also like I, everybody uses Fiverr and all this stuff. And I was like, well, we need, you can't really freelance um, or you can't really source like photography, videography, things you have to do in person. Um, so my, yeah, I just made an app that was like, what do you want to do? Oh, I want to find a photographer. So you hit photographer. And then everybody in your area from like 25 to 100 miles, however far you want to drive, um, you just click that, it pops up, and then everybody pops up and you swipe through like Tinder. So does it work the same way cool. where like yeah. if, if uh, let's say you guys had a member change, like a rhythm guitar stepped away or something like that, could I do the same thing and find a new yeah, rhythm guitar? Dude, that is awesome. Yeah, where, where, yeah. Where, what is that called again? <laughs> we gotta, this is awesome. It's called... It's called it's called hello h-e-w-o -E um, it's on hello. the app hello yeah it's like it's on my uh girlfriend talks to our dog so she goes hello and i was like i'm gonna name the app that that's fine that is awesome hell um, yeah yeah if you're like even yeah if you want to look for somebody to jam with it's for like all ages if you're like 15 starting a band and you play guitar and you need to find like a drummer guitarist vocalist whatever you can do the same thing if you're 80 and you're like oh i want to just jam with some people you can do it that is wicked cool uh so morning amaze yeah. been out for for quite a while and like you said a minute ago you guys have kind of gone through a couple of signings and then decided you want to go diy can you talk about your experience yeah. while being signed and why you think the, going diy is is the route for you guys now isn't it so hard to say? Why is DIY? It doesn't so hard flow. To say? It doesn't flow it, very well. It just well. is. Yeah. It's yeah. I don't know. It's so weird. Um. Uh, it just. <sighs> so what I tell everybody, I get like phone calls all the time, and like, hey, do you have any like advice for blah blah blah? We're here. Do you think this is a good move if we sign with this label? Do you think this booking agent's good? So people like message me and call me all the time about stuff like that, and it's it's weird and i'll tell you what i tell them like if you i hate waiting on anybody and if you figure out how to do it or know how to do something um it just it's way cheaper um it's easier and you're gonna carry like you are the only person who's gonna care about your band the most so everybody has other priorities they have like families other bands all that stuff like it's on you to make your band successful so why wait on anybody else is there a particular label that you favored over the others having signed to a couple different? Um, yes, absolutely. I do. So like there's, it's a weird thing. Um, 
labels work for a lot of bands and labels don't work for a lot of bands. Um, I liked the partnership. We were uh, we were on Tragic, um, so we all a lot of our songs were on like Warner and stuff like that. That was actually cool. So, um, yeah, it, like you just have a team of people, and it's kind of cool to see like the inner workings, and it it really shows you like hey what what you need to do like where you're lacking um and then when you have like a team of people that like care about your stuff it's it's pretty awesome but just getting to that point like yeah do you remember the original jake from state farm yeah like the the guy like because the they got they have like a new back. actor who's like a little more physically fit but then they had like back in the day the original jake farm guy yeah. with the khakis so so they had <laughs> actually so jake from state farm the new guy his name's kevin i just ruined your life so what? um yeah his name's kevin <laughs> his name's not even jake i did not know that but i do remember the old guy why i'm why just curious i know i know that's one of uh one of your guys top songs and we were we were checking out that one in particular we saw the visualizer before you yeah. hopped on earlier um, if someone was yeah, to... a post, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it was a bad joke. I was going to say I have a poster of him above my bed, but <laughs> we can move on. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Uh, if someone was to see you guys live that had never heard of you before, what could they expect from the live show simultaneously during the set? What is the hardest song vocally for you to perform? Yeah, absolutely. So it depends where you are in what we're doing, but we have, uh, we're working on stuff now, which is gonna be way different. The whole stage stuff's gonna be way different than it is now, but right now, uh, pre be prepared to go to a rave with neon, like glow everywhere, black lights and stuff like that. Um, I, fun fact, if you guys come see us and you come early, you'll see me like testing the durability of the speakers and of the uh, ceiling, and if there's rafters or anything like that, um, we try to get up as high as we can and stuff. So like, I like so to you climb jump off stuff. You that, climb, but... you climb and jump off stuff. Yeah, those yeah. Are, those are always it's good shows. It's just fun and cool, and I love it. Yeah, those are always you're there good. to watch something. That's cool. Hell yeah. I, so, am, am I correct that you have a sister also in the music industry? No, I have a girlfriend who is in the music industry. Okay, I, I, I say um, correct, but I'm sorry. And her name starts with a T, correct? Yeah. Okay, I, uh, I apologize. I didn't is... realize that was your girlfriend, but yeah, she's awesome. She's I don't want to like you know call her out. This is an interview for you. No, you're good. But, you're but good. she's awesome. She's helped yeah. this channel out a lot. So just shout out to her. Um, yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> are we allowed to say like names and stuff? Yeah, yeah we, of course. I, 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 right I now. Tabitha yeah. Tabitha is amazing. Just we just, just want to throw that out there. Ta yeah, Tabitha is the uh, the publicist of Thriller and In Vogue Records. So there you go. If you've seen any of those bands, she put them there. I imagine yeah. at least at one point you've considered going to Thriller or going with them. But, of course, the DIY, DIY thing, it is not easy to roll off the tongue. You're right. But uh, It is. It's so weird. Um, yeah, it's if it happens, it happens. Um, it's kind of like a, we're going to just see how it goes kind of thing and i don't know if it's uh, yeah there's a lot of factors i'm um, if they if they ask we'll talk about it but so you're open to to it yeah. if, if it's asked that's cool yeah i'm definitely open to labels it's just you gotta know what you're worth and what if it's the right house for you if it's the right like home um but yeah i mean i'm definitely we're we're open to labels uh, we've just had some good ones, some bad ones in the past, and then as we are now, as wherever we are in the the grand scheme of things, yeah, just they just have to. It has to make sense. Hell yeah! Did you did you bring the hot sauce, sir? I did. I don't. I have it. Hold it up so we can see it, if if possible. Oh, it's no, it's nothing special. It's, it's just some Frank's. Frank's. That's cool. Nothing wrong with that. It's it's like the go to. It's like your it's like your grandma's hot sauce. It, it's, it's acceptable around here. Uh, the cool <laughs> thing is you're going to be able to pick out the trivia. I brought some ghostly garlic hot sauce. I just picked up. I have I've barely tr I took like a taster test before I bought it. 
<laughs> it's got some ghost pepper and some garlic yeah. in it. But the cool thing is you get to pick the trivia topic. Is there a oh, okay. movie or TV show that you've seen so many times? If I look up trivia on this movie or TV show, there's no way I can stump you. Um, yeah, there's so many. I watch <laughs> movies like crazy. It's my favorite thing of all time. Give me the one that you've like, seen the most because I'm telling you, I stump people oh, on a regular basis that have seen a movie 50 times. Can I, can I give you like three and then you pick one? Sure, or? sure. And they're weird. Um, you know, I'm going to say Shrek. I'm going to say, so Shrek I've seen more than any other. Okay. I, uh, maybe, um, Ace Ventura 2. Okay. When Nature Calls. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, I'm going to say Monsters, Inc. Because I just saw that recently and I feel like I, I got, I got it. Okay, then I'll then I'll go with Monsters Inc. If that's the most recent one okay. that you've seen, you think there's no the way the other to stop two you. I haven't seen in a very long time. Yeah, is, is there a is there a particular artist that you've never had uh, as far as like a feature that you let's say they're just like you know what Jake I'm gonna do this one for free. Who who would that artist be that is the perfect link just as a feature for a song for you guys? Oh, uh, Josh Ramsey from Mariana's Trench. It's like my favorite singer of all time. I think that'd be cool. And he like produces all of his stuff. Have you ever uh reached out reached out to him before? Um no, I haven't. No, not really. You should do it, man. That'd be that'd be a perfect I'm, fit. <laughs> yeah, I'll we I'll like cover a song or something on TikTok and I'll tag him. There I'll you go. He sees it. Then then hopefully it'll yeah, do it, all work do it, it out. sly. Yeah. Right, right. All right, well, this is your Monsters, Inc. trivia. I feel like this is an easier one based on the second one. I, I, that's how I judge how many times you've seen it. But here we go. Okay. In Monsters, Inc., what time does Sully's alarm clock go off? Oh, God, 6? I'm going to give it to you. It's 6.05, but I'm, I'm going to give it to you. Yeah. Okay. okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so I'll do, I'll do some hot sauce. Jake, do you have any do you have any phobias? Anything that freaks you out or scares you? You absolutely will not do this. Heights, spiders, anything like that? Yes. So I gotta fix I have my AirPods in. I keep fixing, I'm sorry. Um Yeah, I don't like I'm not afraid of them, but I can't like do I can't do like cockroaches. Mm -mm. We tour all over the south and stuff. I can't like if I see one, I just don't move. Like it's not fear. I'm not afraid of it. I just it's so it's the grossest thing I can think of. So, so no Joe's apartment for you. Remember that movie? If you're yes. Joe's and apartment with like ten thousand yes. cockroaches going all over the place. That that's so funny because that something very similar like that happened to us in Texas, and I almost died. What? Explain. So, Explain. I didn't actually. I didn't actually almost die. I'm gonna tell you. It's gonna be the shortest, fastest, quickest version of this story because it's like twenty years long, and I suck at telling stories. Okay. We were playing in Houston, uh, and this was in the middle of the ju July, so Texas in July. Uh, a, f a very, very, very loose friend. Um, there we go. A very loose friend that nobody really knew. It was just a very old friend of our guitarist uh, that he hasn't seen in 10 years. was like, hey, come, I see you guys are in Houston. Why don't you come stay at my, uh, my house? We were like, okay, cool. Yeah, that's just what you do. So it turns out that... Uh, he almost killed us because he took our van and we let him drive because he wanted to take us to the beach. But he drove our van as fast as he possibly could. He almost hit a semi and we ended up in the left shoulder. And that was that was just the morning. That was for breakfast. But he his house was an abandoned like modular with nothing in it except for one couch and all of the cockroaches ever of all time. So he's like, yeah, we, I turned the water for you guys on so you could shower. We we're like, okay, cool. So my my old bassist, Joe, was like, hey, uh, I'm going to go take a shower. I'm like, all right, man, it's like 4 o'clock in the morning. We settle, settled in and all that stuff. And he comes out and he goes, Jake, there's roaches everywhere. And I was like, ah, because we were sleeping on the floor and I had to get like four sheets to lay out because I didn't want any like buggy stuff on the carpet to get on me. So I went to... 
I went to go take a shower or attempt to take a shower and there was like three dead ones in there and then one and then like they flew and they were like four inches long and it was just it was so bad but yeah every time we go to the south there's roaches and stuff and everybody's like oh it's just a way of life down here and i'm like i don't want to way ever of be life ever. what no it is not that is that's disgusting yeah. i totally get those gross vibes that you <laughs> yeah that's not normal that is not normal for yeah, sure it's it's the worst thing ever but yeah, I don't know what it is. I just can't do it. After, let's say, a particular show that for some reason this one is bigger and better than than normal ones. There's there's twenty thousand deep. It's a festival, something along the lines of that. The set is flawless. You sell out of merch. You sign all autographs. You can. It's party time tonight. It was a good one. No. Oh. What's your go to munchy meal after after a little party? Uh, Taco Bell. What do you order? So that's I love Taco Bell. Uh, <laughs> it's that's just kind of oh so last tour was all just Waffle House. I don't know why we do that. We just pick like the cheapest like thing we can do and we stack up. Um, There's no Waffle House in uh, California. I miss them. I know. I know. They should they should bring them out because there's four thousand over here. Bill- billions. Like Tell alone. them billions yeah. is what they would make. every. <laughs> every exit um i just a chicken quesadilla actually we don't need a lot we really don't um my vicious pit bull is screaming outside sorry nice. but yeah that's it i think it's it's just taco bell i usually go with the cheesy gordita crunch but i rotate in the, oh yeah the fiery doritos taco instead of the regular shell that's right it's the way so I usually I used to get like four or five cheesy gordita crunches and then like now I, I just can't eat anything like during the day I'll have like sushi maybe but just something like I don't know yeah, I don't eat a lot anymore none of the guys eat anything <laughs> for sure <laughs> well I'm gonna try this one more time on the Monsters Inc trivia because I, I I just gotta stop you so here we go yeah for sure for sure at one point in the movie it says employee of the month with Sully's picture on it. How many times in a row was Sully employee of the month? Oh my goodness gracious. Uh it's like uh, is it like 30 it's like 36 or something like that. That is not correct. It is less than that. <clears throat> Enjoy the Franks. Oh. We were able to stump you. It is 11. It 11 times in a row it's is 11. what it oh, says. Oh, I suck. Okay, what do I do? Drink it? Just take a little swig. That's all we ask. No, no big deal. Oh, okay. All right. There you go. Just a little, little swig. Get, okay. Get the palate and the, the blood flowing. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice. Is, is there anything that you can tell us uh, regarding stuff before the end of the year, early 2024? I know sometimes bands can't talk about stuff that's not announced yet, but what are you allowed to tell us that we can look forward to? Yeah. Um, hold on one second. I'm going to die. All right. Um, so we have, we did a cover of, <laughs> we did a cover of One Foot uh, by Walk the Moon that came out like five years ago. There's a remastering fifth anniversary coming out in like two weeks, November 14th. Um, we never put it out on stuff for whatever reason. So now it's going to be out on Spotify and Apple and all that stuff. Um, Pandora, whatever. Uh, and then we are going to be hitting the road in March with people I can't say for a time frame I can't say. Um, Can you not say that you're coming to California? I can't say. I can't say. (laughs) Where would you, what, what city? I would say don't say you're coming to the Whiskey Go-Go in Los Angeles, California. Don't tell me that. That's so funny that you say that. Um, that's all I will say. <laughs> cool. I heard nothing. I love the whiskey. I, I heard nothing. It's it's probably one it. of the best venues in the entire state for sure. Uh, I got a chat question yeah, for like, you. Uh, uh, yeah, ch- chat wants to know, is there a significance to something that occurred in May in a morning, which I'm sure you've been asked this before, but we've, we don't know oh, regarding sure. the band name. Yeah, absolutely. So Morning in May was uh, named after it was in 2010. um, I listened to this band called Ludo, um, which they came out with an EP. 
called the Broken Bride EP, and it was a really awesome like rock opera that they they fit in four songs. But pretty much the the whole message of the EP was the main guy was trying to get back to a morning in May to save his wife because it's this whole like time time. It's really hard to explain, but actually no, it's not here. This guy travels in time to get back to the day that his wife died in a car accident. And she died in a morning in May. So he like overshoots it and goes to dinosaur times. He goes to like apocalyptic times with zombies and all that stuff. But he finally gets to that morning in May and he just gets in the car with her. And then they both die because no matter what he does, he can't save her. So I thought that was cool. That meant a lot to me, a lot of the stuff that was going on at the time. And the singer, um, Andrew Volpe, actually, I did reach out to a while ago and I told him, hey, like, I. I named our uh, band after your EP and stuff, and I told him all the stuff we got to do, and it was kind of cool. He he was like really like taken back, and like really, he thought that was awesome. So that is cool. I love when when a particular album or EP or just song just resonates more than the average song you jam, just where you you, you walk yeah, away it's, thinking it's about so it. So good. And there's like. It just has so many dynamics and everything that I'm sure they wanted to do in music. It was it was cool. We're actually working on something like that right now. Hell yeah, that is cool. So like slightly a concept. That'll be out next year. Yeah, I, uh, a different concept, but we're, we're working on our big like rock opera thing that'll be out next year. Hell yeah. Um, is, there, is there a particular location in the world that you have circled on your globe that you just have to play here someday, but it's just, you haven't gotten there yet, but it's coming like a, a Japan or an Australia or somewhere that you haven't been. Um, we were supposed to go to Japan during COVID and COVID happened. So that didn't happen. <laughs> um, we were supposed to go to England a year after that, but then COVID happened. Um, so I would, I would, I would say those probably, probably England more so England and Germany. For sure. Just a couple of fun yeah. ones and then we'll let you go, Jake. Are you a cannabis yeah. user? And if so, indica, sativa or hybrid? Um, none. I actually am so boring. I don't do anything, but my, our, our dear old guitarist does. And I have no idea. <laughs> All right. No worries. It's not for everybody. I totally get it. It's not for everybody. Are you a, are you a sports fan? And if so, who do you root for? Um, I'm kind of a sports fan. I grew up like doing sports. Uh, I like to watch or I like to play better than watch and stuff. But I mean, anybody that's like Ohio, I just root for anybody. I like anybody. Yeah. Browns, Cavs. So Buckeyes. Bengals sometimes, but Buckeyes for sure. Okay. That's cool. I can yep. dig it. Uh, we have a lot of pop punk fans that watch the show. Can you Can you walk us through your vocal warm-ups and then post show like cool downs for your throat. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, I, it's just emo night all day, all day, every day. So when we're in the van, um, I'll wake up and do warm-ups and the guys think I'm just dumb because I'll just yell in their ear while they're driving. I just up and down just as much as I can from the lowest to lows to the highest of highs. Uh, I practice, I'll do like screaming and stuff while, while John or Joe's just driving, just sitting in the passenger seat, just screaming in their face. Um, I drink a lot of tea and I always brush my teeth. I brush my teeth like 30 minutes prior to performing. And then after is nothing like uh, nothing. We don't, we don't get to. We don't get to sleep. We don't get to do anything. It's so weird after shows. We're just we're just back in the van to the next to just, the next show. So Actually, just yeah. Tea and a chicken quesadilla just gets it ready. We, yeah, but we we do have a post show ritual, which is John will always go to sleep. The bassist uh, Joe is usually back there with him on his phone, and he passes out. And then Andrew, the drummer, and I talk about space and like conspiracies and the weirdest like podcast topics possible and we do that yeah L literally every night every time that's awesome that's very cool yeah so like like aliens exist or beyond that 
beyond that, like like fabric of time space whatever like we've we've had the weirdest we've driven through like roswell talking about like just bigfoot conspiracy theories aliens what what existed what existed way back when who's yeah it's just i don't know it's it's everything and i can't yeah i don't know it's everything that's cool i dig it i would definitely jump in on that conversation (laughs) i leave you with with a, a fun one this happens to every band. There's a particular show at some point in your life, in your career, where everything went wrong at this one gig. Do you recall it? How did you learn from it? There's a couple. Um, it was it was more so it was more so a tour than a than a show. But yeah, like everybody has their. Uh, Everybody has like car problems. So our van tire blew out, our trailer tire blew out, our equipment got wet. And then we, that was the same tour that we played Warp Tour 2018. We played at the, we played in Boston, I think. And uh, the guys got inebriated the night before completely. And <laughs> we had to be there at like six. They probably went to bed at five. Uh, and so our guitarist slept all day. And then he slept at our tent, like literally underneath the merch table all day. And then 30 minutes prior to when we were supposed to be on like the big stage, we couldn't find him. He just disappeared. He always loses his phone or his phone's off or something like that. So literally for 30 minutes, we were about to play in front of a huge, just literally like stadium of people and he was gone we couldn't find him so he missed the whole gig or he hopped on like 10 seconds before playing before he he came in like he literally walked on stage and then we started playing like <laughs> it, like, was, I'm here. it was like to the t don't think i forgot he like, i'm what? here boys i got you he was he was like let me stress you out as much as possible and then he walked on stage put his guitar on and we started playing we're like where were you so but the yeah, but was, the actual set was like was was went great. Yeah, yeah. This the <laughs> the set went great. Our other guitarist got uh, engaged during that show. He oh, proposed wow. to his girlfriend of three years. Um, they got engaged. They're married now. He quit the band shortly after he got engaged. Um, yeah, it was it was good for them. It was just a nightmare for me. I had to herd all of them together. Jake, those some fun times, man. Uh, I appreciate you telling us some stories, uh, talking about music, talking about uh, Taco Bell, a little bit of Monsters Inc. right here. Uh, I look forward to <laughs> to the tour that is going to be announced in the future for 2024. That'll be fun, and uh, just just thank you for giving us some time, man. I, I appreciate you. Thanks for having me. It was fun. I liked it. It was an absolute pleasure. Jake from Morning in May. Give me a hell yeah. Enjoy the rest of your day, sir. I'm going to throw this on YouTube we'll in the morning. You I'll, I'll send you a link when it's ready. Cool. Sounds good. Cheers, brother. Thank you. Hi, what's up, sir? Welcome to the local band, Smokeout.